Hi, this is Darren Cross, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scan a piece of paper, a picture, a document from an HP all in one printer to your Mac. So, that's my HP all in one printer over there. This is a live video, as you can see. Yeah, so I want to scan this piece of paper to my Mac. So, you want to go and insert it into your either your document feeder. So, my document feeder is over up here or your flatbed. So I'm going to put in my flatbed. Then you just put it in there and close it. Alright, so now I'm going to come back to your Mac and you want to just go down to Finder and you want to go to Applications and look for Image Capture. So Image Capture is over here and double click on it. So now I'm just going to move it over to my other page so you can see the video and the image capture. So now select your device. So this is my device. Then it's going to give you an overview. So now you can see it's warming up. So I'll open it up. You can see that scan up is scanning it. There. So just close that. Alright. So now it's been, been overviewed. It hasn't really been scanned. What I mean as in it's overviewed it as in scanned it but then hasn't saved it yet. So now you want to get your mode. So flatbed is Obviously, like flatbed would be that's the flatbed, so that's the flatbed, and the document feed is this thing on top. So, you want to choose your flatbed or document feeder. So, I'm choosing flatbed, and you want to choose your kind. So, you can either have color, black and white, or text. So, text looks like that, black and white looks like that, and uh, color looks like that. So, I'm going to do color. Then choose how many color. Well, I don't really know what that means. Then you want to go your resolution. So 75 is good. And auto selection. You can auto selection is as in if you scan something like small. So say for instance my phone. Oh wait, sorry. Say for instance my phone. I want to scan that. It can like auto select that area, so you don't have to do that. But then I see. I'll show you. See, it detects, well, it's detecting the IP, but I don't want that. Or closing box, not sure what that did. So I'm just going to put it off and do it myself. So then you want to go to select where you want to scan to. So I want to scan to my desktop, but if you want to scan to other, just click other and locate to where you want to scan to. So I'm going to press cancel, put it on desktop, and then name it. So I'm going to name it test paper. Then make your format. I'm going to make my format JPEG. So I'm going to click on that. Then image correction, you can, if you click manual, you can click the brightness and the darkness of your picture. The so darker and the brighter. So I'm just going to not do it, put it on none. And then you want to you know, do that, doesn't really do a change. Then uh, what are, I don't really know what these are. Doesn't like, really seem to change it. But yeah, none. But then once you're done, uh, I'm just going to select over the whole picture. Because now it's going to scan what I've just selected. So it's seen. Then you want to click on scan. So now I'm going to, I'm clicking on scan. Then you can, the scanner is warming up. You can see how it's scanning it there. You can see how it's scanned there. And then it's now has been saved to where you want to save it. So mine has been saved to my desktop. So let's just command W that. And oh, there it is. So that's um, double click on it. Now let's open up in preview. All right, and there it is. Look at that. It is on my desktop. That picture that I use. So uh, now I can command Q that. This picture that I have used is now on my desktop over there. So thank you. This is Darren Cross. Please like, and if you like to subscribe then you can subscribe if you like my videos and I'll see you in my next video thank you and goodbye